What's up, you guys? You're watching Surgery Secrets. Before I get started with today's video, everything that I'm talking about today will be linked down below, including my outfit. If you can please subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up. It really, really means a lot and it helps out the channel. And it lets me know that you guys want me to do more videos like this. We're going to be going to Bath and Body Works. They have finally, finally, finally opened. Well, actually, I was going to go like the last two days I was trying, but I went to a picture here or like a video like the line was like crazy like one of the days it was like literally pouring rain like on Saturday for like almost the entire day and there was like a huge line and I was like I can't do that right now I see there's only like one person in line at Bath and Body Works for me I just need some hand soaps and if they have some hand sanitizers I will purchase them candles and stuff I don't really need but I wonder how everything there is going to be working like can I touch the stuff can I smell the stuff like I just don't know how it's all going to be working so it's going to be quite curious and quite interesting to see how you know everything's gonna work out especially now going forward like for me here in texas everything for myself for the most part is back to normal almost like i want to say like 80 percent of all stores are open i want to say like everything is open the only thing i would say is not is like the gym is not open you know 25 percent of people can be in certain stores I I, where they just have more, way more than their 25% although Vlad as you can tell today but for my for what I can tell life is back to normal I love it I know in some other states and some other parts of the world it's not I know like in California you guys are on lockdown for like a while and that would drive me like so crazy so for once I like I'm gonna say that I like to be Texan I guess I never thought I would actually say that like yes I live in Texas but I'm happy that everything's back to normal for the most part and and obviously going forward it is going to back to normal and I really really like that and I never take anything for granted and I'm excited to be shopping I'm excited to be back at Bath and Body Works I never thought I could miss a store so much that that okay so the stores that I missed were Bath and Body Works, Nordstrom Rack, TJ Maxx I want to say those are my three favorite stores I completely completely missed the most outfit of the day later but i am using my coach cassie 19 today i'm finally able to use a lot of the bags that i bought during you know what like this one my white cassie my all saints crossbody i'm just excited that i can finally get to use a lot of those handbags now and i thought today was the perfect day to take out my cassie for the spin and we're gonna be going they open at nine and we may even go to TG Maxx. This is another TG Maxx I'll, I'll, I go to quite frequently. And they may have some stuff. I may go and check it out. If they're open by the time that I leave Bath & Body Works, I will probably check it out. If not, then... We it is open, guys. Oh my god, this blazer. I got $40 from Dr. Mac, Veronica Beard from $700 and I paid full price for Veronica computer places before. Nordstrom Rack had a lot of good deals. We have your products and we are only accepting credit card, debit card, Apple Pay, Samsung Pay, or good card only. Other than that, everything has signs. If you have any questions, you can ask us. Happy shopping. Um, thank you so much. Yeah, no worries. Can I put a package right there behind that gentleman? Okay.
I'm just good. I'm so good. Okay. Um, do you guys have like simple space for the hand soaps right now? Because I, I saw the like I saw one with like I just want like a, a silver one. It's gonna be on the Oh my god, guys, that was like, that was like the weirdest thing ever. Oh my god, guys. We have so much to talk about. Okay, guys, so now I came back from Bath & Body Works, so I'm going to be explaining how everything went down, just in case you're curious. Now, I, my understanding, like, cosmetic stores like Sephora, Ulta, Bath & Body Works, department stores that have beauty counters. Honestly, I'm being really honest. Those are going to be the ones that are going to get affected the most as far as jobs. I can see them where they don't really need a lot of people because like, you know, especially like in Sephora when there's like, uh, like you know, on the busy Saturdays, they have so many vendors for all these different brands. They have a, a lot of employees. So I see them really taming down on that because I feel like you can't really try on or do anything. Like on Bath & Body Works, there were no samples. There was nothing you can try on. Obviously, you can like kind of open like a lid and smell it. But it wasn't like, oh, here's a sample. You know how like when you walk in, oh, you want to try our hand cream or hand sanitizer, or, you know, whatever the case is. It is not like that. So... I'm going to be giving you a haul of the stuff that I bought. I've been wanting to go to Bath & Body Works for the absolute longest amount of time. You guys already know. Now, the one that I went, Irving in Texas, I usually go to the one, my to-go-to-go -to Bath & Body Works. My favorite one to go to, Bath & Body Works Galleria, just because I feel like it's like a newer one and it's really, really nice. But that one's closed. Like, there's only a select Bath & Body Works open. There's only, I think, the one here in Irving, the one on Mockingbird in Dallas, and I think another one in South Lake. I like the South Lake one, too. And so, yeah, so when you walk in, I don't know if you heard, but the lady was telling me how, you know, there's a sanitizing station. You grab the bags, like, whatever you think you would need. Like, there was, like, rows of bags, so you grab it. And there was, like, a limit of 10 hand sanitizers, and I believe 10 hand soaps or 12 hand soaps. And... You can just kind of go from there so it was kind of weird because and then they only let i believe 12 people in but i'm excited that i already got all my stuff so on the first transaction i just got some wildflowers this is just a new carguito so i'll give you what i actually purchased and i spent 60 dollars. like that is insane like usually i use like a coupon or something but they know people are going to pay full price for their hand soaps and for their items so you know it is what it is so but I did really need a lot of stuff. Now, I didn't need a candle, guys. Now, I'm going to let you guys know I did not need a candle. But if you guys know, Island Margarita is my absolute favorite scent from Bath & Body Works. It just reminds me of, like, when I was younger. Like, it's just 
Ily Margarito is my scent. Like, it is just my favorite scent. And I don't have a candle for this year for one. So I picked one up. This was $10 off. So it was $15.50. You know, it's a fabricated deal. Something that they always have. And then I got a bunch of hand sanitizers. I got 10 because that's the limit. And for me, I only... I I like, like, the colorful ones. But for me, I wish greenish kind of, like... Not the really kind of fun colors. I just kind of get, like, you know, green, blue, kind of clear. So they kind of go with, like, my outfits and stuff. So I have all of this. And I can finally switch the one out that I have on my keys. The one that I have on my keys, as you can see, guys, <laughs> it's already finished. Like, it is, like, so... It is like struggling. It's been needing some, you know, it been, it's been needing to get changed out. Like this is literally, as you can see, like yesterday I was at the gas station and I put some hand sanitizer on and I could barely get enough. So, you know, I use this stuff. So that's that. And I'm probably going to put this one right here, which is going to be shell. Yeah. Which is kind of like hell. Yeah. Turns. Cause I had a, I had a return. I was going to return a candle stand that, um, I just didn't, it, I didn't like the way it looked in my house. So I was going to return it and they're not doing returns until further notice. And the lady also said, if I just contact customer service, they can see what they can do for me, but they're not doing returns until further notice, which is really funny because when you checked out, there was like a line, like if you don't love it, the guarantee or whatever, but you know, you're not really offering that right now. So I'd probably take that off. So yeah, I'm happy. I got my hands on hand sanitizers. I've been needing some, um, I'm going to give some to my little brother. I'm going to give some to some of my friends and some of my coworkers. So I have some, and I also ordered some from Victoria's Secret. I don't know how they're going to come. I was just the picture here. They still haven't shipped yet, but I did order some hand sanitizer. I just, I don't know. I'm kind of picky when it comes to my uh, small hand sanitizer. I like the Bath and Body Works ones. I like the Purell ones. Victoria's Secret ones are, but the Purell ones and these ones are the ones that I like to use. A bunch of hand soaps. So for me, I've been wanting hand soaps. I literally ran out, guys. Like, I've been using um, a face cleaner that has antibacterial on it. <laughs> in my bath in my bathroom and now I kind of now I have some so I literally ran out of hand soap like two or three days ago this one smells good Fiji white sands I just kind of wanted kind of a beachy kind of tropical feel so I got two of those see like I'm some I'm so weird I always have to get stuff in either even numbers or uniform if you notice like I have two of everything like island margarita you guys already know island margarita is my absolute favorite set I love island margarita and I just have to, you know, I just can't get enough of it. But that's my little Bath and Body Works haul. My total with everything was $59.82, which is a little pricey, but I mean, I mean, what can I say, guys? I love Bath and Body Works. And I really didn't eat the hand soaps. Usually, like, I always stock up when they're on sale. But for me, during, you know what? I had a few of them, and I, I was just, like, I would go over, like, I would hang out with my friends. I'd be like, you need a hand soap. You need a hand soap. You need a candle. You need this. You need that. And so, like, I didn't save some for myself. So, now, at least I have <laughs> all these by myself. So, I'm super happy that I got that taken care of. But it's really weird. I wonder how all the other stores are going to be working. I wonder how Victoria's Secret is going to be, guys. Because the thing is, with Victoria's Secret, you know, you have to try everything on. And, you know... You have to try on a bra. You have to try on undergarments. So I wonder how it's going to work now. I believe they're just probably going to make it where you just don't even try on anything. And they're probably not going to take returns until further notice. But yeah, they didn't. She was, she was just like, no. But I mean, I'm pretty sure they'll take the return. I'll just leave that in my car until I can return it. And, you know, I'll just keep it moving. But I'm so excited with my Bath & Body Works stuff. You guys have no idea. Like, I was literally like this empty i had literally had nothing for bath and body works i literally used all my products and then i don't and then maybe going to tj maxx i think it's 10 already yeah i think it's already 10 so i think i'm just gonna see what they have and i've been doing an outfit day every single day yesterday sean took a video of my outfit of the day and it, it was just like i was so awkward like you guys already know like when you guys meet me in person you know, I may seem like, you know, on camera, like I know everything I, you know, I do. I, I, I like to know that I'm a very well-rounded person, but I'm really such a shy person. So it's kind of, it, it kind of showed in the video yesterday, but I'm still going to upload it. So probably like in a week or two, you will be seeing 
a video of me doing like an outfit of the day and showing you what I've been wearing and because I always get asked you know Sergio I want to see what you wear what do you wear in a week what do you wear to your job like I want to see so I will be doing that like what I wear in a week throughout like out and about so let's say if I'm having lunch with one of my friends and we're at a restaurant or something I'll like get off the car and make them film me do like what I have what I'm wearing but yeah I'll be giving you I'll be doing the outfit of the day um at TJ Maxx here because I'm about to see if they have anything that's worth picking up and you know just kind of vlog and see what they have as well because I did want I do want to make this vlog a little bit more longer than what it is already and then but yeah you'll be seeing that video and you'll be seeing a lot more content where in a week video and stuff like that so I've been getting a lot of requests like what do I spend in a week video this and that and you know at the end of the day I am kind of like a fashion and contemporary YouTuber but you guys are curious about certain things that I do my thought processes I got requested to do a video about stuff that I will never buy or things that I always buy what are you know core handbags that I would pay full price all day every day and some that I wouldn't what brands are worth full price what brands are not so we will be doing a lot more videos you guys um my YouTube channel is really growing like I remember in the beginning of the year it was like at 11,000 subscribers and now it's at 19 and I just really like the relationship that that I've been building with a lot of you guys go ahead and go to TJ Maxx and see what they have and then we'll and then we'll go to Starbucks and then we'll call it a vlog you guys A Dooney and Burke wallet, some logos, some Gucci earrings, another Gucci earring, oh, a Roberto coin necklace for two eighty, and some more jewelry. They have a St. Laurent card holder. Oh my god, guys, should I get the St. Laurent card holder? It's kind of a classic one. I wonder how much it is. Can I look at something? Oh, she didn't hear me. Longchamp 149. This is a good price. Longchamp bags are highly well made, guys. You'll be seeing a Longchamp video. Oh, this Chloe toe. I have never seen this toe in person. 600 for my it's leather lined on the inside too. Six hundred dollars for a Ferragamo backpack, and it's padded for everything to put your laptop in it. I think this is a Stod bag. Eighty, yeah, Stod. Champ little leather. Some little long champ bags. Pants. Oh look, these Troy Burke pants. Fifty nine. Place 30. 59 with a little pearl detail. I was thinking about this shirt. So I don't know if you guys remember my last vlog, all those four items that I bought. So I bought a Theory white shirt, a Theory hoodie, a Vince Polo and Vince pants. Well, the pants were more leggy material, and I feel like sometimes that's not. The most appropriate thing to wear so i'm gonna end up returning that and i'm gonna purchase this one i'm gonna eat it in a large just because i i know somebody that bought this and the sleeves are a little bit shorter so i want it to look a little bit more oversized so if i would have gotten like a medium it would just look a little weird on the side but these are just kind of like nice and lightweight shirts that you can get a lot of wear out of you know what i've been needing guys like nice denim so that order that i placed in which i'm racking my one of my hauls well all the items got canceled <laughs> i'm not quite sure why but they all got canceled, so I have to to order some pants because I, I need some, you know. I have been wearing these same kind of mother jeans. I mean, it's not a bad thing because I'm getting wear out of them. But I definitely, I want to say there's only like maybe five pairs of jeans or three pairs of jeans that I've been really into. I know the other ones I'm just not really in love with. Like, that's why I said I'm doing a vlog so. So if you guys want me to, so if you guys want to follow my selling channel see the dressing rooms are closed but if you guys want to shop some of my stuff from my closet i have a instagram i'll insert it right here and you guys can follow it and if you guys want to you know are interested in buying some of my stuff you can follow it there i will probably 
probably once I hit 21,000 subscribers, which should be in the next couple of weeks, is when I'll start. So I think the way I'm gonna go about it is I just think like one day out of the week, I'll add like 15 items and everything will ship from my P.O. box. I like pants like these, but I don't like the stretch in the back, like how ruched it is. I wish it was just kind of regular. I'll probably end up posting like 15, 20 items. And here's like the leggings. These are kind of like the pants that I got. The pants, they were just a little too legging material. But I think I'm going to be putting like 15 items. And then, you know, just if you, just 15 items. And or like 20 items to begin with. And then just every like, let's say Friday, I just, you know, always put new stuff. Here's some Armani jeans top. You know, I'll just start adding more and more stuff. And then you guys can just kind of shop what you guys like. And if something doesn't sell for a week, like if it stays on my selling page for like two weeks and I'll just give it a, a discount. So I know I've been getting asked about what I'm going to be getting rid of or what type of items. I think my YSL Pink Lulu is going to be getting sold. And the reason is, is because I, it's just the color. I love the functionality of the bag and I think I'm going to buy the bag again, but in another color, but the pink one. It just doesn't really go with my style like i like my bags to be kind of more core and the bag is a core bag but it's just the color that i necessarily don't like same toy birch top that we saw the other one i really want this but they only have extra small so strathberry crossbody is going to be another one that i'm going to part ways with and i think I think so far, for sure, those two. I may get rid of my Gucci crossbody as well. Actually, I think I am, just because I feel like, I don't I don't remember the last time I genuinely wore it out. It has probably been like a year. And I don't think going forward, I'm going to be wearing it much longer. Like I don't see myself reaching out for it and pulling it out. See, extra small see this is so cute i wish they had at least a small in it they have good stuff but this is what i kind of came here for i kind of had a feeling i would find it there but look at these ysl card cases i wonder how much they are if they're like 150 i would buy it like that's a pretty decent price all these three bags i mean i don't really need any more bags but you guys already know but i'm in love with my coach cast for 19. i'm finally getting the wear in a lot of my bags that i've been needing to wear but as you can't lie one thing that i never usually find at tg maxx are shoes well that's just because i'm so picky with my shoes it's just kind of hard to find shoes that i genuinely like or that i genuinely want to wear i don't know why i'm like that but I've just been kind of picky when it comes to shoes. Usually, I'm in a shopping mood, and like I would go through all this, but I am going to be going to Nordstrom Rack later, so I'm saving all my shopping energy to go shopping there. I'm going to be going with my little brother. Um, normally, I would film it, but my little brother, he doesn't really like to be on camera or anything, so that's the only reason why. It's just because he doesn't like to be filmed, and I completely respect that. It's crazy out there, and I'm not gonna lie, guys. If people confuse us for twins. Me and my brother look very, very similar. We're the same height and about the same. Um, remember this Gisto shirt when it was so popular because they had misspelled it? It's here for twenty dollars. And him, you would probably think that's me and people that we know or like people that we went to high school with sometimes they think that he's like he's me so i think for the time being he probably won't be on my channel anytime soon and same for my other family members just for security reasons but i can see later in the future um maybe in the next six months we can start slowly introducing all of that but just right now I don't think that's not something that I'm comfortable with and that they're probably comfortable with. 
I meant to runway, I'm not gonna lie. I don't really find a lot of gray or items. That, that bag is kind of cute, that green one. Or that red one, kind of like that round bag. That's kind of cute. And Paris Hilton Swords. That's hot. So I'm from and their jacket for 150 So here, I will say like, the stuff that's not runway, like some huts and stuff in seven. Um, it is pretty decent. They can find some great prices. Like with jeans, twenty nine dollars. You can find them on sale. So there's a Michelle watch here for one hundred four. I just texted one of my friends if they're interested in buying it, and we'll see. There's some Lagos jewelry that's on clearance. We have a bracelet, some necklaces, a toy bridge sunglass, and some little um, dainty necklaces as well. So they have like the same thing, some Lagos. Oh my god, $80 for a Lagos necklace. That ring is really cute from a goes. It retails for $1,100, $400, and it is $320. So it's $80 off from the TJ Maxx price. That necklace right there that says love is blind you can't see it but when you flip it i actually have that necklace and so that's a really good price 904 for a michelle watch oh my god guys this is new you see that that is new well i don't shoplift or i don't do any fraudulent activity so i don't have to worry about that people can record me because you know i record in the store so it is totally fine so i'm gonna give you an outfit of the day and then i'll just meet you in the car you guys guys it is monday and now i'm gonna be doing my outfit of the day for monday so i'm at tj maxx i'm wearing my monica vineyard earrings that i got a couple of days ago i love them i'm gonna be doing a jewelry video on my channel i'm wearing my og round ray-bans that are polarized i've had these for about two years i'm wearing the veronica beard blazer size 10 with the little shoulder pad detail on it. I'm wearing my black Uniqlo top. I'm wearing my Coach Cassie 19 with the longer strap with the chain. My mother jeans and a size 26. And then my Sandy Lang for Vans. And yeah guys, this is my, my outfit of the day. I'm gonna put that right there. This is my outfit of the day for Monday. This one is up there together combined like home goods and i always forget how much good stuff all home goods has sometimes you tend to overlook stuff sometimes but they do have pretty decent stuff but it's my shirt what is up you guys so i'm gonna give you an update so i finally got my eyebrows started i've been wanting to get my eyebrows started for the longest amount of time i went without like 10 weeks without getting them threaded which was a good thing because i felt like i needed to grow them out but now i feel like back to my regular self now i have to lose like maybe a couple pounds and then i'll be back my hair looks good my brows look good my facial hair looks good and my skin has been really great the only reason why i have these little red marks is because when i was shaving and i was in a rush and i was dry shaving and like a piece of skin came off i know that sounds really gross but okay so i got done with my little i got done with all my stuff so i went to nordstrom Mac, guys and i'm gonna tell you what i found i found so many good things well, i only found three things and one thing for somebody else like one thing if you know if you are my friend like every single time i find stuff i always guys let you know like what i find or like i offer you like oh do you want it i'll pick it up for you so the first thing that i got is this little long shop little pouch i was actually looking at this yesterday so weird right and so it was retail 70 they still carry this for full price it was 25 and then it was 40 percent off they do have all final sales but i got this for 15 dollars. the reason why i got this is because i have the long shop no way like the one with the strap and i really like that bag but i feel like it doesn't have a lot of compartments so i'm going to put this inside of that bag like as a little pochette so when i do use that long shop bag i can transition um so i have this little thing to put like my chargers and put stuff in so i thought it was a really useful item and like i said this nylon holds up pretty well so i purchased it and then for my friend these burberry shoes i don't know if he wants me to show them to you but i'll show them to you on the side and so these shoes were a really great deal they were 150 dollars but i did get him a pair of shoes and then for myself you guys know how much i love mother the jeans that i'm wearing today are mother so i love 
me a black skinny jean. I love I love me a black skinny jean. I love me just a denim in general. So I've been looking for blue denim, but I just never find the right blue denim. I'm just so picky. Honestly, I just think I'm just gonna get some Levi's wedgies and call it a day. So I found these mother jeans, guys. Mother, you know, I paid full price for mother before. These ones were retail $198. They were $48.97, and then I got them for um 40 percent off so i got them for 30 dollars <gasps> look they're the classic mother ones and they have no hem i have the ones that have a raw hem but these ones have the no hem on them oh my god in a size 26 which is my size and um mother and then i also found another one size 26 same price 48.97 and then these ones have a little bit of distressing now i'm not usually the one to get a lot of huge ripped jeans but i felt like these ones were a little like you see that Ugh they have a little bit of a rip on them and then they have raw hem so i feel like it'd be really cute now i have more black denim i have so many black jeans i have like four ags now i have four mother black jeans i have just a lot from other brands but i just love me a good black classic skinny jean but yeah guys thank you so much for watching my little vlog my little haul you guys get to see what i found and um i will be doing more vlogs we'll be doing vlogs including like my brother and stuff i just want to protect people's privacy especially right in the beginning in my channel and later on you will see me introduce more people in my personal life you just have to give me a little bit of time guys to get a little comfortable i'm a little shy that you guys know and yeah thank you thank you thank you thank you so much guys i really appreciate you watching this vlog I really appreciate all the love and the support. Bought today will be linked down below if it's available, including what I'm wearing and some deals and, you know, just core items that I always get asked about. Everything will be linked in the description box. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, guys. And I'll see you guys on the next one. I love each and every single one of you and you are loved and live your life because you only have one life and, you know, time's gonna pass. So why not do stuff that you love and, you know, things that really mean and matter and have value to you. Bye, guys.